Is she really so gullible? Why are you torturing yourself over that? About my support. How am I doing? You have passed Angram's test. That stands you in good stead. You helped protect the seedlings from mutants. Born was grateful for the help you gave him with the harvest. He has spoken up for you. Yaro says you didn't acquire the converter parts he needed. That was a missed opportunity. Ornir told me that you failed to help him deal with an outlaw he was worried about. My wife seems to hold you in great favor. I've heard you helped the cleric escape from Goliath. And worse still, you involved my wife in this deception. How does that speak to your case? You helped Eirdor. Something we neglected to do. And don't think the fact that Eisenfaust's sword disappeared at the point you arrived has gone unnoticed. I can't prove anything. But suspicions don't always have to be proven. The murderer Stormson is still alive, although you were sent to stop him. It seems you weren't able to find the stolen elix for Caldrum. You have created more problems here than you have solved. Far from getting good reports, I have people telling me you should be exiled. You'll have to work hard to clear your name. And until such time as you do, you will be forbidden to trade here. And you will be barred from joining the Berserkers. For now, think carefully before you act in future. Is there any way to change your mind about me? You can talk all you want. It's actions that count. If you really wish to prove your worth, you will need to win the trust of the Warlords. How can I do that? For their part, you'll have to ask Angram and Cormac. I can only speak for myself. So how can I gain your trust? Kill the head of the clerics, the outlaws, and the elves. Are you serious? Ha! <laughs> if only our problems could be solved so easily. But... Maybe some can. You can pay for the damage you've caused with Alexit. Here. This should pay for my redemption. Very well. It's a poor thing that Alexit can stand in for loyalty. But difficult times change the rules. But my word is not enough to give you progress on its own. All three warlords must agree. I don't know the guy. Suppose I never will now. Yes, I'd heard things were rough there too. But nobody listens to me. I don't know why I even bother sometimes. Well, that was a serious waste of time, wasn't you it? You want cross him? You're crazy. I need your pledge. So you broke the law and Engram won't support you. He's fairly inflexible when it comes to the law. He does see the world in black and white. But, very well, I will give you my pledge. Seeking promotion, will you give me your pledge? If I put my name to yours, if I were to agree to that, then your actions would reflect on me. So what reason have I to take that risk? Well, I passed the test at the pit. Yes, I have not forgotten that. I warned you of the consequences of breaking our laws, and you decided to cross that line. If I was to offer you another chance and give you my pledge, then that would put you in my debt. And it would be for me to choose when and how that debt is to be repaid. Agreed. Good. Then you have my pledge.
about my support. The other warlords have given their approval. Then I grant you permission to trade in Goliath. Just make sure you abide by the law and don't trade forbidden items. You have won approval faster than I thought you would. So I give you the chance to join our community. Continue to serve us faithfully and you will climb the ranks here. But if you swear your loyalty here, you must mean it. You must turn your back on all the other factions. I'm ready to join the Berserkers. You have recognized the value of our people. Once you have made your pledge, you will be expected to stand by it. Clerics, Albs, Outlaws, all will see you as one of us from this point. I'm ready to make my pledge. Then so it shall be. With honor, with faith, with hope. You tie your blood to the soils of Magalan, our mother planet, and pledge to rebuild her as she was. It has been many years since the first Berserkers settled in this place. We found protection and a future for our kind in the ruins of the old world. From here, we have regrown a world that came before even that. From desert, from dead rock, we have brought back life. With our magic, we have held back those who see our future as one dominated by machines. We have stood against the forces of Zekor. We have struck down the converter they built on our land. But none of us can achieve this alone. None can stand alone. We must stand together. The time has come to accept another member into our community. He came to us as a stranger. Now he stands in our midst, having earned the right to become one of us. The law of the Berserkers will guide him from this day. We are the Fellowship of Magic and of Warriors. And we welcome you to our number. What do I have to do to be promoted? Listen, friend. Most people who have achieved the rank of warrior worked hard for it. It could take years until you are ready for that step. There must be a way to climb faster here. The only way to get early promotion would be to get all warlords to agree to that. Each of us have our own beliefs and requirements, and sometimes they will come into conflict. Until then, you will carry out your duties as a cultivator. Ultimately, we can't leave the fields to themselves. Prove yourself capable of following orders. And if you inspire others to speak for you, this may help persuade the warlords to give you their pledge. There are many who seek promotion, and you must show you are worthy of that honor. Stop using that here. This is no place for technology. <laughs> 